Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is IFBB Pro Bodybuilder Rob Taylor, the pit bull. And the reason I'm talking about Rob today is, is that this guy spent a great deal of his life trying to get to the Mr. Olympia. You know, growing up as a bodybuilder, we all dreamed to get to Mr. Olympia. You know, this was going to be my last show, my last ride. And... The sad thing about it is, is that he's always said that he's always kept up with his blood work. And if there were anything uh, that was going to hurt him, he was naturally going to leave bodybuilding alone. Simply because he got two kids and he got one on the way and the guy is happily married. And at the same time, He's really not into bodybuilding for money because he has his own businesses and things of that nature. So the thing that happened to Rob is, is that uh, this year Mr. Olympia was his pro debut. And at the same time, it was going to be his retirement from bodybuilding. But unfortunately, about three weeks ago, he injured his back maybe about three weeks ago now i did my back in and, you and he's tried uh taking anti-inflammatory uh pain pills and none of that stuff seems to be working you know it's getting to a point now where i'm relying on painkillers to get me through the day you know they're making me tired they're smashing my stomach the pain in my lower back is just it's unreal man and he's talking about the amount of pain that he's in is excruciating. Now, right now, Rob is saying that if he don't stop now, he feel like that he's going to end up putting himself in a wheelchair. You know, I am not prepared to put myself in a wheelchair or make myself permanently disabled. Just to get on that Olympia stage, it means the world to me. But so do my family, and my family laws come put first. Because of the injury that he uh, has acquired. Now, he won't make it to the Mr. Olympia. This injury is serious enough to where it pretty much ended his uh, bid for the Mr. Olympia. Now, what I want to say is, is that... Anytime you are dieting as hard as these guys diet, as dehydrated as these guys make themselves be, in which this guy does pretty well as far as, you know, trying to get himself uh, really ripped. So at that stage in the bodybuilding preparation, it's very easy for you to overload the body and cause yourself serious injury during that time you have a lot of bodybuilders they escape by you got some that have those injuries and don't uh suffer as much from them until later on uh we take ronnie coleman who injured his back years before it actually started getting him down so the thing about it is no matter how much you're working out what kind of competition you want to go to if that's what you're trying to do or just trying to stay in everyday shape. Always be aware of what your body's telling you. Always be aware of not overdoing it. Now, this is a pro bodybuilder, an enhanced bodybuilder, and he actually overdid it. That's something that, you know, that, that they say that you can't do. But the guy actually overdid it. He overdid it and ended up having a catastrophic back injury. Now, he doesn't go into detail saying exactly what's going on with him as far as the damage. But if it's significant enough for him to be out of the Mr. Olympia, and it doesn't appear that he's planning on doing bodybuilding anymore, which he say he was planning on retiring anyway after he did the Olympia. But 
you have to be careful when you're lifting weights. You have to be careful with uh, your limits. And if you don't do that, then there's a possibility that your later days will be plagued with hospitals and painkillers, as this guy is saying, because he's saying he's taking so many painkillers that he's not even himself. The people around him are saying that he, he's changing. So that's how serious it can become in your later days. Once you get hooked on painkillers and stuff like that, and you actually have pain, uh, the quality of life is greatly diminished. Anyway, that's what I want to talk to you all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.